so same i will add this accept so it should be add the char character set also it can accept so here char set so then it should be second value here this comma separation of the comma here the second it should be having this utf encryption of utf8 format so that also i am adding this so finally i'll add one more these four these three are the universal for this apart from those some people will add extra for those but these all are the universal so set property this so finally this is a content type so this content type should be so content so content underscore so content sorry content type one it should be this type so content type it should be here so content type it should be here application so application application slash so x this is the normally this we can copy and paste somewhere because it should be understand I mean it should be remembering should be also a little bit tough so www dot form dot so here we are giving this form so form dot uh, uh, sorry form underscore url so it should be the data should be url encoded form underscore url encoded data so these three we can write from somewhere so url encoded this then after this http connection dot connect so these all are should okay then it should connect so once it is connected here see above we'll write two conditions one should be here a uh, do input and do output means it should accept the values from the keyboard as well as the our uh, data or uh, database so for the database we'll write here output stream so that should be something output stream because this should be reading the values from this so new buffer output stream reader so in this we are reading the values so that should be based on this value so connection http dot open so that should be here get output stream so this so this data we are getting in this output stream dot so write data so in this we are writing the data so how we can write the data based on the params so what we define about this value so we can we can copy that value here param dot get bytes so the data we are getting into bytes so then output stream data flush means it should be closed then input stream read. so it should next it should be here adding the values from the keyboard so for that it should be this input stream read so input stream read equal to so new so new same it should be also new buffer input stream reader so buffer input stream reader so in this uh, we can pass same http url connection dot so it should be get input stream so get input stream then here for this input stream reader extra we re we require this buffer reader so we can add buffer reader why because it should be read this line by line data in what with the data is entered by the user so that should be here buffer reader so in this new so new input stream reader so new input stream reader of what we define the sub input stream read that we can put into this so then after this here in new input stream reader so then we it, it requires some string buffer so you can add some string buffer so string buffer something i'm defining as a string buffer equal to new string buffer just i'm defining here one string buffer so because it should read the value by one so uh, line by line so because of that i'm adding here one more string that should be line so then it should, here i'm creating for while loop to read the data from the keyboard so while here i'm checking the condition so what is the condition is line i call this line what is the line it should be provided that should be based on the buffer reader it should read the buffer reader so the buffer reader dot read line when it is the read the line if that line should be should not be null so it should not be null so it should dot be null then will it execute one case otherwise it will give this so it will null it will give something so if it is uh, if it is not null so what is the string buffer it should read the value from the string buffer this the string buffer so dot so append the data into this so so dot append so how it can be append here so string buffer dot sorry this is a small it should be string buffer so this is what we define here so now it should come this append of 
So here this should come by this line. What do we define this above? It should come with this line. So here slash n should be, it should define this read the data line by line. So it should be here. This is the plus is missing plus line line by line. So once it is done, it should be done. So it should append the data. So then input stream read dot close. So this connection should be closed. So once input stream read data closed, then here you can add one JSON object. See, once have already we defined that. So that based on the JSON object. So that JSON object data. It means it final it should be give this data into JSON object. So string buffer dot to string. So this is so this is also expecting some try and catch exception so that you can add here exception so this is the json function so once this json function is done here you can write this code here so here should be here uh, this should be here we can create one more json object so j2 equal to so what we define this json functions class so from that class i am defining this method so that method we are getting from here this method so that method i am using here so here we are passing url comma params of zero if we give the params of zero it can read this multiple value so params of zero it can read the multiple value so we immediately just you can change this to j to dot to string so it should be done so now we need url so globally i am declaring here the one url so that URL is provided on the documentation as for the document, I'll paste it that. So this should be here URL. So this URL I can copy and paste in here. So URL I pasted here, this URL. Done. So then only the next portion is up to this developer level program is done. Only this next portion is interacting with the user it is pending. So for that here, what I'll do here. I'll create here one more JSON object. This should be because here we are getting the data in the form of JSON object. See, this is the responses. So these responses we are getting in the form of JSON object only. So because of that, I'm doing with this the JSON object. So here I'm creating JSON object J3 equal to. So new JSON object. So new JSON object. So this JSON object value I'm getting from either you can get data from the S or you can get from the J2. So I'm picking from the S. So yes dot to string. So that I'm getting this data. So this is also expecting some try and catch just add try and catch. So from here now next I want to check this uh, from here. I want to get the response one. So res one equal to so J3 dot. So get string. So from there, I want to get the string. So here total, we are getting the three types of responses. Response, response, response. It should be fail, success, this. So first, I'll pick the value of the response key. So this response key value, I, I want to pick this here. So I'll add here response. So this response, so response key. So now I'll compare this response with the three types of responses. So that should be here. Uh, just I'll write here if case if response res1 dot equal ignore case it will check this capital and small cases are including this so response is success so if it is a success I'll execute something so if it is a fail I'll execute something so then this should be here success so I'll execute this then here else so else if I'll write totally here we have these three conditions. So then I'll write as a else if again I'm checking the condition here. So that condition should be res so one again the same condition one dot equal ignore case of. So in place of this one in place of the success I'm pushing this failed. So just I copy the fail. I'll write this. Then final no need of condition. So directly I'll test this else or I'll write this. So now simply here for the first time being I am showing only this toast. So I am writing here toast. So toast I am writing the toast but this toast I am expecting whatever I am getting from the server. So this response I want to show already member or user created this I want to show. So that I am getting based on this key. So because this key should be common C three times. So I will write this C. Same I want to write again once again here the same. So what we define the nabo string res2 response to equal to from the same j3 dot get string because this from here I'm getting this. So here in place of that I'm pushing this as a user. So this is the end of the statement semicolon. 
then here I'll add this one as the res res2 so it will show this so toast it will show this I am putting for the same remaining two cases also because in the three cases I am getting the same so I am writing this three cases should be the same it should give this so with this this program is done so finally just we can give here internet permission and the manifest file so I am adding this permission in manifest file so users permission internet and so just I give this permission so now we'll run this program we'll run the program so for this running of the program I'll uh, connecting this with my device so with this uh, directly I'm running into my device so I'm connecting with this to my device so now I'll run so run an Android application so with this I'm running in my device So we'll see this output in device. So I'm connecting my device to here using the tour of visor. So it should be helpful to just to see this device in a here. So just it is connecting the device. So this is our output so here I'm entering something name and a mobile number I'm entering the something mobile number then I'm entering something mail ID so it's the rate gmail ID something then it should be I'm entering here password so here something password so then I'm clicking on this submit user so now we'll get this response so user created so if i'm clicking on the second time this with same already member means already with this number already the mobile is registered so this is the output thank you